So I'm taking a quick look at the Spy Party beta. I have basically forgotten that this game existed for two years and then was reminded about it and wondered whether things were still happening with it. As it happens, it has been getting updated and they've added a tutorial and seem to still be seeking feedback on it. So as this little text box requests, I am going to record myself going through the tutorial and see what's up. I believe that Chris Hacker, the developer, will be providing a voiceover tutorial, so I won't bother explaining the game because I hope the tutorial will do that itself. Welcome to Spy Party, and thanks for joining the beta. I'm Chris Hecker, Spy Party's designer, and I'm going to walk you through the basics of how to play. Spy Party is a two-player game. The spy is somewhere inside the party, having a delightful time socializing with other guests, while also trying to accomplish their secret missions. The sniper is outside the party, and is pretty upset at not being invited to join in. We're going to practice sniper first, and so we're looking at the sniper view now. As sniper, you observe the guests closely to figure out which one is the spy, and then you have exactly one bullet with which to stop them before they accomplish their missions. I've given you movement control now. You can move around outside the level with the A and D keys and aim with the mouse. Now try zooming with the W and S keys, or with the mouse wheel. That's using W and S. And that's using the mouse. Doesn't seem too much different. Got two levels of zoom. And you move slower while zoomed, which seems fair enough. Next we're going to play a little practice game of Spy Party, except instead of doing subtle espionage missions, the spy in this game will be wearing a name tag on their lapel or dress. It probably goes without saying that the spy in a real game won't be wearing this helpful sticker. I'll put the name tag on the spy when you're ready. One of the guests is wearing the name tag, so look around the party for it. When you find that guest, hold the shift key to take the safety off and click the mouse button to shoot. I'm looking for a sticker. Is it meant to be obvious? Oh wait, there it is. Yeah, that seems pretty obvious. So hold shift and... Nice work. You shot the spy. I'm going to resurrect the spy now because this is just a tutorial. Plus I've heard indie games with zombies in them do really well. Next we're going to do a similar practice game, but this time we'll focus on low lighting. As Sniper, you can manage your suspects during the game by highlighting and low lighting the guests, marking them more and less suspicious for your own bookkeeping. The party always has a number of cast members attending. These are people with different jobs, like the waiter, the security guard, the suspected double agents, and the ambassador, and they all have triangles over their heads so they're easy to spot. No one in the cast can ever be the spy. So a useful strategy for beginners is to low light the cast at the beginning of the party. Let's practice this when you're ready to start. I wonder if they'll always have the triangles? Low light the cast members since they can't be the spy. They're marked with triangles over their heads. You low light using the right mouse. Nice. Four more casts to low light. Good. Three more cast members to go. Almost there. Two more cast low lights left. Only one more cast member to low light. And who was the other one? Waiter. Great. Now you've low lit all the cast members. Notice how the low lights blend into the background and you can see the other guests more clearly? The low lit guests are also moved to the right on the row of portraits at the bottom of the screen. Now let's practice highlighting. Like low lighting, you can use highlighting to help manage your suspects. For this practice game, let's assume we've decided any guest who is not in the cast but is holding a drink is suspicious and we want to keep track of them. Highlight three different guests who are not in the cast while they're holding drinks. You highlight using the left mouse button. The ambassador is in the cast. Great. Two more drink holding guests to go. Who else has a drink? Can't see around the window. Only one more guest to highlight. Perfect. 
See how the highlight guests stand out from the others and how they're moved to the left in the portraits at the bottom of the screen? Oh, also don't worry, the spy can't see your highlights and lowlights. Those are the basic mechanics of sniper play. To look at the missions themselves, we'll learn how to play spy. Before we start, pick which character you want to be for the spy tutorial. When you're the spy, you're trying to blend into the party, but also accomplish missions while not getting shot. You've already seen the sniper view, so while you're practicing these spy actions, keep in mind what they'll look like when you're playing the sniper, too. Try moving around now with the W, A, S, and D keys. The cursor keys also work. The mouse moves the camera and helps you steer while moving. Get a feel for walking around the party, check out how the other guests move, and try to blend in with them. So first I'm going to have a look at how the other guests move. Okay, seems straightforward enough. And I automatically snap to face. Well, not snap to face, but will turn when I move over these areas. Which seems to be how all of the other characters move as well, so I don't feel like I'm at too much of a disadvantage here. Notice the outline pads on the floor? There are floor pads for conversations, statues, windows, and other active areas. Whenever you're standing still, you need to be standing on one of these pads or else you'll look suspicious to an observant sniper. Try walking to the window floor pad I'm highlighting now. Where is this? Good. Always remember to look around and choose your destination floor pad before you start moving, and walk straight to it without stopping to avoid arousing the sniper's suspicion. We'll stay on this pad for the next couple of exercises. Another important thing spies need to learn is good camera management. You want to always have the party in view regardless of where you're standing. You can swing your view all the way around, and the walls will even disappear to get out of your way. Try sp Depending on where you're standing, the spy will have different actions available, and often there will be multiple actions available simultaneously, so you need to be able to scroll through them to get to the one you want. You can see an example now towards the bottom of the screen. Anytime those white arrows are visible on the sides of the action box, it means there are multiple available actions. Space doesn't seem to be working. You didn't really think I implemented a pick nose action in animation, did you? This is just a tutorial for scrolling through multiple actions. So scroll to check watch with the mouse wheel or the Q and E keys and fire it with the mouse button. Okay, now you've got the basics of spy control. Let's learn some missions. Now we're going to practice the swap statue mission. Your goal as spy is to swap out one of the priceless statues for a fake. Whoa, Move around and use your camera controls to find the statue floor pad I've highlighted for you and go stand on it. Okay, so the farm. Good. I've turned on the interface at the bottom of the screen that shows your available actions. Try picking up the statue. Now that you're holding a statue, notice which shape it is. There are three different types of statues in the game. You might need to swing your camera around to see them all. And note, you can swing the camera into the walls and they will disappear, giving you a better view of the party. Now you've got a spy action available. Keep an eye on your statue and swap it to complete the mission. Do I swap it while I'm standing here? Did you notice the statue change shape? When you're Sniper, you'll need to look for that change to find the spy, but you won't oh, get the no, benefit of the color changing, the just the shape. You've checked off this mission, so put the statue back and walk out into the party. That's it for the swap statue mission. Remember, the spy is trying to swap out one of the statues, and the Sniper is trying to notice when a statue has been swapped and figure out which guest did it. I saw, like, a progress, uh, circle. 
uh, underneath me when I was moving the thing. And I'm not sure whether that means that I can... Oh, I can't pick up the statue again. Next up, we'll practice contacting the double agent. To accomplish this mission, the spy needs to say a secret code phrase to the double agent in the conversation. Swing the camera around until you find the double agent. They've got a yellow triangle over their head now. Here's the view in your sniper. If you move around and look closely, you can see multiple suspected double agents sporting yellow triangles. One of them is the real double agent. Uh, I see. You have to be in a conversation circle with the double agent to say the secret phrase. The secret phrase is banana bread, because I was eating some when I wrote the code for this mission. Banana bread is tasty. Banana bread is probably the only thing I remember from when I first saw this game two years ago. I'm glad to see it hasn't changed. Walk over and join the conversation with the double agent. This conversation circle looks quite full. Conversations have a flow you'll learn as you observe the other guests and play the game more. I've turned on the actions for conversations and for contacting the double agent. Try contacting the double agent using the spy action. Okay, I wasn't sure if banana I banana bread. So apparently I don't need to. Good. Did you hear the banana bread? Now you've contacted the double agent and accomplished the mission. I've paused the game so I can show you how many low lights the sniper could have potentially gotten from your contact. Look around and see how many lowlights the sniper might have gotten from your banana bread. These were the guests outside of conversations when you contacted. Always be aware of who is in conversation when you contact a double agent. Hmm. Interesting. Here's what those lowlights look like from the sniper's view. That's it for the contact the double agent mission. It's usually hard for the snipers to definitively shoot for banana bread, but it often allows them to narrow down their suspects a lot, so spies need to be careful out there. Okay, so if they're watching and aware, then a banana bread signal means that they can eliminate everyone but in conversation, I think. Is that what it This time we'll practice bugging the ambassador. If you look around the party, you'll see the ambassador has a purple triangle over their head. I see him. You bug the ambassador by standing close to them and sticking your arm out to plant the bug. That arm sticking out part can be pretty obvious to the sniper unless you're careful, so a lot of people get shot trying to bug. I've enabled the bugging action, so get close to the ambassador and give it a try. I suppose it makes sense if I try to look at this painting. Oh. I wonder how far close I need to be. What an interesting statue. Nice work. You successfully planted the bug and completed the mission. Now we're going to learn how to flirt and seduce a guest. Your seduction target has a red triangle over their head. Can you find them in the party? By the way, the sniper doesn't get to know which guest is the seduction target. To flirt, you have to be in a conversation with the target, or be pretty close to them at a window or statue or other location where guests congregate. The closer you are to the target, the more you seduce them with each flirt. It usually takes three or four flirts to complete the mission, but for this tutorial, I'm going to start you at 50%, as you can see in the upper left corner. You can't come on too strong, so you have to wait between each flirt, but if you move away, you don't have to wait as long. In a normal game, you'd do other missions during these breaks. The seduction action is now enabled. Move in close and start flirting to seduce the target. I wonder if it's clever to walk around. Whoops, I definitely would have gotten shot. Good. You can see the progress bar and the mission in the upper left is increased. You need to fill that bar to complete the seduction. The upper part of the progress bar counts down until the target is ready to be seduced again. It counts down faster the more space you give them, so it's best to move away for a while. Okay, the countdown is up, and now the seduction target is ready for another flirt. Remember, the closer you are, the more your flirts fill the progress bar. Well. I think I need to get better at walking. I keep zigzagging all over the place. Great, you successfully seduced the target. 
Now we need to talk about time. The spy is on a timer, and if you don't finish your missions before the time runs out, the sniper wins. You can see I've turned on the timer display in the upper right corner of the screen. The timer puts pressure on the spy to accomplish missions. However, the spy does have a way of increasing the available time while in the game. Of course, there's a risk the sniper will catch the spy adding time. Adding time isn't really a mission, but it's still an important tactic for spies to learn and for snipers to catch, so let's practice it now. You add time by going to a window pad and checking your watch. There's a normal version of checking your watch, which does not add time, and which the other guests will perform. And there's the spy action, which adds 45 seconds to the clock. I've turned on both the normal and the spy actions for checking your watch at the window now, so go add some time. Keep an eye on the clock as you add the time so you can see the time go up. That's what you'll look for to spot this as sniper. So, the casual checking watch. The normal action just checks the watch. It doesn't add any time to the clock, but it's good for blending into the party. Good. If this was a real game, you would have given yourself some extra time to complete your missions. Assuming the sniper didn't see the timer go up while you were checking your watch at the window, of course. Let's put the first four missions together and play with a real time limit so you can learn about pacing. I've enabled the swap statue, contact the double agent, bug the ambassador, and seduce the target missions, as you can see in the upper left. I've also turned on some of the normal actions for blending into the party. I'm setting the clock to four minutes. Try to do your missions in that time, but remember you can add more time at the windows. I've also turned on the sniper's laser sight, so be careful about acting suspicious when the sniper's looking your way. Okay, ready to start? So I need to bug the ambassador, contact the double agent, swap the statue. Does that mean I need to just swap any statue? And seduce a target. Complete the four enabled missions on the left before the timer runs out, and good luck. So Remember, it's incredibly important to not stop in the middle of nowhere. You have to stop on the floor pads like the other guests do, or you will get shot. He's looking my way, so it doesn't seem like a good time to... I guess I pick up the statue, that's the thing. That You've got four missions to accomplish. Better get moving. But he is looking right at me. I think I'll put it back down. Have you noticed the sniper's laser sight following you around? Always keep an eye on the laser sight so you know when to play it cool. Remember, when you see multiple available actions like this, you can scroll through them with the mouse wheel or the Q and E keys. So it's finally not looking at me, so I can try joining this large conversation. That misstep was probably a bit suspicious. He's not looking my way. Lots of people are talking. Time for a banana bread. Banana bread. Two minutes left, still need to do three things. Excellent. One mission down. Quick statue. It was a whatever that is the whole time, I swear. Wait, didn't I contact the double agent? not a good time. Um, where's my seduction target? Nice, you flirted. Now go work on some other missions while the seduction timer counts down. Where is the ambassador? Oh, this is an interesting painting. No, don't go away. My person looking at me. You've got half your missions done. Might 
The double agent's in a conversation now, in case you were waiting for that. Bit of extra time. Stop looking at me. Where is the double agent? <laughs> Banana bread. Banana bread. Okay, you said banana bread and contacted the double agent. Let's see how many lowlights the sniper could have gotten if they were on top of things. If you look around, you'll see the sniper could have gotten a lot of lowlights from that banana bread. Always be aware of how many guests are out of conversations when you contact. Almost done. One more mission to go. Yikes. Well, convenient that you're right here. Let's get my flirt on. Be careful, the timer's running out. Maybe go add some time at the windows, or rush to finish if you think you can make it. Ah, okay, so I can't seduce again. So I might go stand at the window. The seduction timer has run out, so you can flirt again if you want. Seems a bit close. I wonder if flirting does any obvious action, or if it just looks like talking. That last flirtation got you really close, so after the cooldown you don't even need to stand near the target for your last flirt. Huh. What does that mean? Oh, as in I could stand on the far side of the circle? Ah, I see. I can see the percentage change based on where I am. You accomplished all the missions. Now just play it cool until you win. The sniper doesn't get to see this countdown timer. It's just there so the spy can't rush the last mission and win instantly. Congratulations, you're ready to play spy. You can continue on with the sniper tutorial or practice spy again. Oh well, that's why we have early access and betas. I did not know that I couldn't get shot. Oh, that was pretty good though, still. And I did like getting the uh, notice about how many lowlights would have happened from when I did the banana bread. It doesn't seem to have saved my progress there, but hopefully I can just jump to the next one. So I'll move on to the sniper bit. Let's practice the individual missions from the sniper side. We'll go through each mission, one at a time, trying to either spot the spy and shoot them, or at least narrow down the suspects. First okay, up, bugging the ambassador. Spy. At some point in the next minute, a spy will plant the bug, so stay focused on the ambassador and be suspicious of anybody who gets too cozy. Watch out for that bugging arm movement. Find the ambassador in the party, and we'll start when you're ready. Find and shoot the spy when they bug the ambassador. When you spot the spy, remember to hold the shift key and take the safety off, and click the mouse button to shoot. So watching for anyone that is suspicious and gets close. at the wrong angle to see the other guy. I think I should also remember, although it might not matter in this case, that my laser pointer would be visible to the spy. You didn't catch the spy bugging this time through, but we'll rewind and try the exact same game again, so watch even more closely. Gosh darn it. Same ambassador, yep. Was 
You shot the spy. Congratulations. Now try to catch a spy swapping the statue. It'll help if you memorize the statues while we're paused here, so you can know if one has changed, even if you miss the actual swap animation. Watch the statues carefully and shoot the spy when they swap. Another spy down. Good work. This time a spy will contact the double agent. It's really hard to shoot someone for contacting, but it can narrow your suspects, so let's practice low-lighting guests outside of conversations when you hear the banana bread. When you hear the spy contact the double agent by saying banana bread, quickly look around for anybody not in a conversation and low-light them. Banana bread. Did you hear the banana bread? Low light all the guests who are out of conversation when you heard it, and hit space when you're done. Remember, you low light using the right mouse button. Okay, let's see how you did. I'll rewind to the banana bread, and then point out any guests you missed while low lighting. Banana bread. Here are the guests you missed low lighting, outlined in white. Next, here are guests you low lit that weren't completely safe because they were in conversation and could be the spy. In case you're curious, here was the spy for that test. For this next challenge, try to spot a spy adding time by checking their watch at a window. Remember, normal guests can check their watches too, but the time in the upper right won't change, so don't accidentally shoot a normal guest. Okay, keep an eye on who's checking their watch at the window and pay attention to the clock. Wait, someone did. Wait. Ah. Which one was it? Excellent. You got the spy. Uh, so the time increase is just a little bit after. I've saved the hardest challenge for last, but I'm going to give you some help. You're going to try to shoot the spy for seducing the target. Unlike a normal game, I've outlined the seduction target for you, so use your highlights to keep track of who moves near the target repeatedly, and good luck. Look for somebody moving towards and away from the seduction target suspiciously often. Don't forget to use your highlights to keep track of the guests. <laughs> hey, that was a civilian, but at least you know that guest is not the spy now. Let's rewind and try the same challenge again. For some reason I thought that shift would highlight. That is not correct. Wait, I could also left. 
is going to come back. Blue guy. <laughs> See where blue guy goes this time. This one is hard, and you didn't catch the spy this time, but let's rewind and try again. Oh wait, did I accidentally shoot the blue guy last time? <laughs> He's shooting. That spy's espionage career is over. That's it for the individual mission tests, and now let's put it all together. Now we're going to play another full practice game, but this time you'll be the sniper, and you'll have to find and stop the spy before they complete their missions. For a moment I thought my game had crashed again. For your first sniper playthrough, I'm not going to distract you by giving you too much advice while you're playing, so remember to watch for the missions you practice and use your highlights and lowlights to manage your suspects. Playing sniper is hard. If you don't catch the spy this first try, don't worry about it. We'll rewind the game and give you another try, and I'll help you out a bit more each time. We'll start when you're ready. I wonder what the balance is like between spies and snipers. I wonder if one is considered easier. I mean, assuming that you've both played both for some decent amount of time. Okay, watch for the missions, use your highlights and lowlights, and good luck. Is that another mission? And the end of red. Wait, oh, that's not true. I guess you can be in conversation when you're like standing next to it. Ah!
also don't think I quite know when people are in conversations or not. Nice work, you shot the spot. This tutorial has over 20 different sniper challenge games, and you get a different one each time, so hit play again if you want more practice now, or you can get back here later from the menu. Well, I'll probably try again later, but that was pretty interesting. That's the tutorial so far, thanks for playing. You can revisit any of the tutorial chapters now from the tutorial menu. This is good. I like it. I certainly feel more confident in playing the game than I did the last time, where the game seemed interesting but a bit too overwhelming, which is why I just sort of had the game and watched people and then just never felt um, confident enough to actually jump into a game myself.